Hi, that guy you call here. Today we're gonna to be replacing three plug or three switches in a gang box. Tools for today's job are multimeter, flat screwdriver, and because we're in Canada, square screwdriver fill up the work just as well. Three new switches and a new plate. First of all, we're gonna to need to make sure the power is off, which we've already done. Plates out. So we're going to start by removing the cover. I'm trying not to drop the screws in the vent on the floor. I'm trying to. So if you drop it, I'm, I can catch it. Get this out of the way. Now what we're going to use a multimeter for, they should, in one box, all be on one breaker. But we need to make sure. So I guess we need to take them out first. screwdriver for this one because we're in Canada but actually North America. North America and remember always check with your local electrical authority to make sure that this is legal in your country to do this or in your jurisdiction it may not be country maybe your state or province or Replacing this dimmer with a straight switch. Never got used as a dimmer. Okay, given the fact that there's only one black black power wire in here, we know we're okay. Easiest way to do this, let's do it one. I don't know how many screws are gonna fall out. So do this one at a time. Now, when you're working with these switches, you want to look because it's marked top. Of 
course, the top is marked underneath that. But you can also look at the writing, make sure that it's readable straight up. Sure. You're going clockwise. This one's a little different because it's Some people call it. That one wasn't held on very well. Did the wire literally break? Hmm? No, it just wasn't on very well. This one wasn't into the Marat properly. This one's a little different because I got two wires to connect. So, one blow straight in like that. The other. Optimistically, goes in straight. of what we double checked but the reason it was listed among the tools is to double check that the power is off if you don't have anything else forgot to mention pliers and the tools because we need to be able to get the hook out of this one because this one was marred in because of the dimmer switch Two. And now we do the third one. 
This one's going to be very similar to the first one we did. Yes. And, uh, loosen them up, take the hooks off, and then switch the switch out. Now the thing to remember is when you're doing these in a gang like this, the bottom is your feed. That's where the power comes from one to the other to the other. So that way we know that it's all on one circuit. And the wire that runs to your lights is the one that's all by itself. screws up. This one's got drywall dust in it. Now what I like to do is I like to get them all started. And when you tighten these up, don't over tighten them. These are drywall ears, so they're made to keep the plug from going too far into the wall. The other thing you want to make sure of when you're putting these on in a gang is not tighten too tight because what you need to do is you need to make sure this is going to line up around all your switches so up too much and you have to loosen it up just to readjust and that one moved <laughs> oh, of course it did. Keep test fitting to make sure everything's gonna line up so that I don't have to go back and remove stuff after. It's tight. Now we're moved again. Screws for the plate, just screw them in.
you don't want to tighten these up too tight either because you'll crack your plate. Make this 10 times easy for the next one. Make sure you don't drop some, something in there. I'm just gonna do this. Now these particular ones have writing on there so it'll let you know that it's right side up on the switch itself. And of course this time you don't drop it. That's how you hook up a gang switch. Remember, in immortal worlds of red green, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Remember, if you like these videos, click the like button below and subscribe. Thanks for watching.